Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. DJI deletes the Phantom 4. Breeze 4K gets the FPV treatment. King Schools intros drone test prep course. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Only 10 months since its introduction, DJI has informed its dealers that it is ending production of the basic Phantom 4 small UAS, and that's not all. In the message it sent to dealers, the company said that the Phantom 3 is also out of production, while the stocks of the popular Mavic Pro and Mavic Pro combo are very low. The memo to dealers said that while production is releasing more and more aircraft, DJI would be withholding all production to service their own clients on DJI.com until the end of this month. Quote, the end of January 2017 is Chinese New Year, where we can expect a two to three week break in production, so it does not look good for us. At this stage, please warn your customers that the stock of the Mavic Pro and Mavic Pro combo is severely limited, but we hope that by March 2017, DJI get to the point where they have sufficient production. Once DJI gets the Mavic Pro production sorted out, the consumer drones will be limited to the Mavic Pro, the Phantom 4 Pro, and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Look for an upcoming feature with DJI's Adam Lisberg on an upcoming Aero TV feature accessible at www.amadronereport.com. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. AMA Ambassador Hoot Gibson and hundreds of exhibitors, as well as aviation and aerospace experts, will greet thousands of attendees at the AMA Expo East in Sikoskis, New Jersey, February 24th through the 26th, 2017, at the Meadowlands Exposition Center. The three-day AMA Expo East provides a whole family experience for longtime modelers and newcomers to the hobby, as well as enjoyment for all who love flight. ANN will see you there. Dragonplate, a company known for producing ready-to-purchase carbon fiber components, has just released UAV quadcopter frame kits. These kits provide the basic structure necessary for anyone interested in building their own carbon fiber multi-rotor. In addition to the assembly templates and instructions, full CAD models are available for download. For decades, NASA has used computer models to simulate the flow of air around aircraft in order to test designs and improve performance of next-generation vehicles. At NASA's Ames Research Center, researchers recently used this technique to explore the aerodynamics of a popular example of a modified DJI Phantom 3. The findings offer new insights into the design of autonomous, heavy-lift, multi-rotor vehicles. We'll be back with more of the AMA Drone Report after these messages. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you'd like to suggest a story for Airborne, Aero TV, our website or podcast, drop an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Now back to the news. At CES 2017, ANN met up with unique project manager Trent Sigard to talk about upgrades for their Breeze 4K personal drone. Sigard says the Breeze was designed to be their easiest to fly drone, controllable by a cell phone app or handheld controller. But now the Breeze 4K offers first person view FPV capabilities, which provide the operator with a stunning 720p view from the cockpit. The drone's 4K video imaging is also designed for 13 megapixel stills, while its programming allows easy and immediate uploading to social media. 
A number of automated flight modes also offer tremendous versatility for personal operations. The 13.6 ounce drone offers flight times of up to 12 minutes and an all-out price with optional FPV gear that totals less than $600. Check out the AMA Drone Report playlist on YouTube for a recent Aero TV feature on the Breeze 4K, or see it at www.amadronereport.com. One of the true leaders in aviation education for many decades now has been King Schools, led by the highly talented and accomplished team of John and Martha King. Now drone pilots who want to fly their drones for non-recreational purposes can quickly and conveniently pass their remote pilot test with the new King Schools Online Drone Pilot Ground School and Test Prep course. Quote, that's all drone pilots need to do to start using their drones to serve the community in any of the so many ways they can be so useful, says John King of King Schools. The King course not only gets drone pilots ready to pass the FAA test, but it also gives them the tools they need to safely integrate into the national airspace system and stay out of trouble with the FAA. The Kings note that the key word when it comes to being a drone pilot is pilot, and when flying drones you need to know a significant amount of the same core subjects that pilots flying airplanes need to know and fully understand. Those subject areas include FAA Part 107 regulations, aerodynamics, sectional charts, airspace and aircraft minimums, weather minimums, communications and radar services, flight operations, aircraft performance, and weight and balance. A number of the ANN staff are already auditing the course, and ANN's Jim Campbell notes that the King offering may be one of the best he's seen to date. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, our stream daily Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories, that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And for more on the exciting hobby drone world, check out www.modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.